ठीक है जो हम कैसे चल सकते Good evening, and thank you for coming to celebrate Arlene Goldsmith's legacy. My name is Teo Benyon, and I'm here with a few of my fellow Nackers tonight because of Arlene. I met Arlene 33 years ago. As you saw in the video earlier, I grew up in New York Founding Hospital. My life would have been very different if I had never met Arlene. All of our lives would have been. The fact that I was able to leave New York family, be adopted, and live with my family changed the course of my life forever. And it was all because Arlene started an agency that believed that children with disabilities should not be institutionalized. Arlene believed and insisted that all kids be treated as human beings who deserve families and love and opportunities to grow and flourish. Everything I am up to this point, I am because of Nack, because of Arlene. I often think about what makes NAC different. NAC is possibilities, it's opportunities, it's breaking barriers, it's innovative thinking. How Arlene lived her life is how she ran NAC. She is a no-nonsense visionary. She called presidents of universities, and heads of hospitals to insist that we receive the best education and the best medical care. She visited us in hospitals when we had surgeries. She created holiday parties and support groups and even took us on trips to places like Washington, D.C. She made us feel like nothing was inaccessible to us. She insisted we go to summer camp and told us we would love it. <laughs> and that... <laughs> and that the experience would change our lives. And it did. It really did. <laughs> she made us feel special and included, like we could do anything. She didn't see our disabilities. She didn't see our skin color. She didn't see our faults or what we lacked. She just saw us. She saw our potential. Arlene is like no other person I know. She has a heart of gold. Her last name suits her. She set a gold standard for child welfare and how children with disabilities should be seen and treated. She has a human spirit that allows her to see the humanity in everyone. Not because she gets paid to, not because it's her job, it's because of who she is. We are who we are today because of all those experiences Arlene and Nack made possible. And we are well-educated college graduates. Some of us have master's degrees. Others are working in the community and have apartments of our own. And some, like James here, even have a family of their own. Arlene's legacy is our legacy. 
It is the legacy of every child with a disability out there who just needs a chance to reach their potential. Like all of us on this stage, you too are here because of Arlene. She has touched your life in some way. We can never forget Arlene's humanity. Never. Her gold standard should just be the standard. All kids deserve that. They deserve to be seen and valued. The opportunities we can make possible tonight are endless. It is up to us to believe that there is potential for all NAC kids. It is up to us to make sure that the NAC that our link created will always be here for them for years to come. Thank you. And thank you, Arlene, for all that you've done for me and for all NAC kids. Thank you. Thank you.